Three planes, 12 hours, four airports, countless devastation. As we land in Puerto Rico, more than three months after Hurricane Maria hit, the darkness is evident from the sky and from the ground. Where I live, there's still no power. I've had no power since Irma, so I'm returning to the Dominican Republic. On the road, power lines are down, trees are torn, shops and restaurants closed, billboards destroyed, and traffic lights don't work. Now, the impact, of course, has also been felt in businesses like Marilyn's restaurant in Atillo. This is what the deck looked like before the hurricane, and now this is what's left of it. The chairs were floating. It was, it was scary. When we opened up the front door, the water just rushed out. It almost knocked us over. People broke into the restaurant three times, stealing all they could find. That's how much of a need there is. I cried. I even hate thinking about it. They closed for two months after that. Now they've reopened because Puerto Rico se levanta. Puerto Rico gets back on its feet. The kids with the simple toy are happy now. It's not like previous years where they'd be stuck playing with technology. Groups like Rescatando Una Sonrisa or Rescuing a Smile have been giving out toys to kids for 15 years, but this year was a different one. We've seen more kids on the street, kids barefoot, some who I think have received no toys this year. While they work on restoring smiles, we saw crews restoring the island, picking up trees and putting power back. We're doing what's necessary to move forward like Puerto Ricans know how to do.